Hello, it's Susan, and I am working on the charm closure for the mini album process video that we're working on. Um, uh, like I said, well, you know, I should be prepared, but I'm never prepared. Um, normally, I use a Tim Holtz hitch post. Um, let me find one of those to show you there. Well, I'm not sure what I, where I have put them. Um, Oh, here they are. Okay, so normally I don't use the little doorknob, but in this particular scenario, I did buy the doorknob. Um, normally I use one of these hitch posts, and I just put it, and, and you know, for the truth of the matter, I could actually just still do that. Um, there's actually no rule that says I can't do that. Um, and you know what? <sighs> See, I'm changing my, uh, my mind again. Um, what I was thinking that I would do is hang it from the doorknob. And I did buy some rings that are large enough to do that. Let me think. What do I want to do here? Um, hmm. So if I hang it on the doorknob, I hung it just a little bit high so the charm closure would actually have to go here. But I don't really see why that would be a problem. And I think my knob should be stable enough to do that so hmm I have to make up my mind real quick here what do I want to do oh it would be so cute that would be so interactive wouldn't it if I used the doorknob all right well I'm gonna use the doorknob uh, but normally, I wouldn't do that. Um, normally, I would have a hitch post right here, and that's where I would hang my closure to open and close the book. So we're going to just go ahead and stick with this, since that was my original idea. And I'm going to need my crop dial And I am going to put my charm closure up a little high um, to kind of match where this is. Um, so... Here again, I like to try to keep it just a little bit close to the edge um, because I do use a jump ring um, through that hole there. So I'm just going to go ahead and eyeball it. And I think, I think that looks pretty good right there. I'm just going to make a hole. All right, so I made my hole. I have to commit. <laughs> And then I'm just going to go ahead and use my little, uh, I forget what these things are called. They're not rivets, but they're, uh, I forget. So I do put the nice side on the back, but you can put the nice side on the other side. The fabric ones, you know, they're double-sided. I like those much better, but... Um, I'm just going to go ahead, as a matter of fact, I might even just change that. Um, I know I have silver on the binding, but I may use this other, where's that round? I think I'm going to use one of these colors, actually. I think I'm going to use this silver, since it's a little dull. Um, yeah, not so shiny. That's what I'm going to do. All right, and so the, the base, which is detailed on the device, goes on the wrong side of the uh, eyelet. Sorry. Um, the nice side of the eyelet, you use a side that is not the base. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to go ahead and install the eyelet. There we go. So it is installed now. And it is about the same height as the uh, doorknob, as you can see. Okay. Yep. All right. And I will take a jump ring 
This size should fit okay. This is the one that I told y'all was about um, almost one centimeter. So um, the further deep in you go, the bigger of a jump ring you'll you'll need because uh, you want it to clear that you want it to just hang naturally, right? So um, we'll go ahead and open this up and then just put it through the hole. And this is just the way I do it. I think a lot of people do it different ways. So this is the way I've always done it, and I've been happy with it this way. Um, I think it's fairly clean looking, and um, that's that's just the way I do it. Okay, so I get my chain, and I am going to use this bigger link right here. And I'm going to go ahead and connect the end. I do not measure my chain until it's connected. All right, and then close my loop. I want to make sure that this is closed properly. Okay, there we go. And then what I do is I just kind of leave it open just a little bit and measure my, because I want the book to be able to grow, right? So it'll, it'll be able to grow that much before it becomes stressed or tight. Um, so, and it doesn't matter if it, it can kind of, it's pretty when it drapes. So that is not a big deal. And I might just let it drape. Let's see. Yeah, okay. I'm going to stick with this size. And other than decoration, this helps to keep the book closed, but mostly it's for decoration. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and pull that off there. Now I need to find my big loop. Um, and honestly, it fell off. Here it is. Okay. So this is a very large hoop or loop or ring, jump ring. This measures about one inch. Okay. The doorknob measures um, almost an inch. So it's a little less than an inch. So it actually um, it actually clears that doorknob perfectly. Okay. So that's how I determined how big of that loop I needed. Because um, I don't want it to be too loose. If it's too loose, it's going to fall off. So, you know, it's not going to stay on there. It's going to always fall off and, and drive you crazy. All right. And I think I'm going to use this loop that I pulled off. But we'll see if I can get it. We'll see if it will work. Because it could be not big enough. All right, so put that in there, and oops, this chain's a little bit strong, so there we go. go. And there's our closure. Let's see how it fits on there. It's on there just perfectly. And it allows just enough growth, the room for growth, and that's where it's terminated back there. And it's not going to smush any of our any of our photo mats there. So um, oh boy, I've got to find that package that this came in because there is a key that came with that doorknob um, so I actually want that to be my first charm if I can find it I actually have not seen it since I left Maryland but I know it's got to be in here somewhere um, for that doorknob specifically 
just that doorknob. This is the loop that I used. And honestly, I don't think it says what size, but there are various sizes and they have different textures in there. So. All right, I found the key. Um, this is the key that came with the little doorknob. And the ribbon's a little bit blue, so I'm not going to use that. Um, I did find my Michael's key, though, and it has a green ribbon. And that green ribbon is actually purple. So we're going to steal it from the Michael's key. <laughs> we'll use the Michael's key in a different project. And I'm just going to use this ribbon on here instead of that blue ribbon. And this is a really pretty green. This green actually matches really, really well. So I'm just going to stick it through the hole there and just do the little loop tie there. Push the ends through and pull it. And uh, just uh, trim them just a little bit. There we go. Alright, so what I'm going to do with this key is, is I am going to... I need to get some of this stuff out of the way. I have a lot of stuff in here. Okay. All right. I'm going to hang this key right here on my charm, on my chain. I'm going to put it right there because I want it to hang kind of close to the doorknob. Normally, I wouldn't use a large um, charm like that, but since it's a big doorknob, I think a, a big key is appropriate. To me, it makes sense. All right. So I'm just going to put this on there, right where I want it to be. I'm going to put it right there. Yeah, I think that looks okay. Okay. All right. So there's our first charm. And I think that looks sweet. Okay. And... During one of my haul videos, I bought these, and I told you these would be perfect for the chunk for the um, charm closure. And this is a a gold, and this is a, a dark silver. So I think what I'm going to do, see, look at that. You could totally use that just for the closure alone. Look how gorgeous that is. Um. And that would be something that I would definitely do. Oh, oh well. I already did it. <laughs> Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take apart these. I'm going to just open these up and take a couple of the silver ones and a couple of the gold ones. I got these on clearance for like a dollar something, which is a great deal. Okay, so I've got this design in the um, chain. I think I'm going to use, you can see, look, it's getting kind of heavy, so I probably need to put something a little heavy there, but um, let me see, what do I have? I gotta turn this around so I can count it. I got one, two, three, So I'm going to put one before and one after each of the, um, big links. Alright, so we got that one. I 
off there. Alright. I think my hole is big enough there. I have really good sight for this boy. And if you got lucky and got one of these, I would just use the whole darn thing. <laughs> I always like to do things that. Alright. I'm not sure what made that cut off, but something did. So it might cut off again. I hope not. Um, I got a reminder. I said, okay. And the next thing I know, the video stopped. Alright. So I'm still just taking apart this chain here that I got on clearance. Stealing the little uh, gemstones off of it. And then I'm just placing them before and after the large link. If I can see it and get it done there. These links are particularly small. And that one was a silver one, wasn't it? Yep. Just about done with this part. This is my favorite part. I love the closures. I mean, I love the chunky charms, too. <laughs> I love decorating. I love it all. <laughs> it's like my husband says. If you ask him what his favorite meal is, he'll say whatever the meal is in front of him at the time. <laughs> He's so funny. All right. So, I guess it's the same thing with the books. I love putting them together. I love decorating them. I love buying this stuff for them. <laughs> All right, one more I think we will do. It's going to be a silver one. I ever told you this but maybe I did but um, I find the books are the first project style thing that I do that I actually finish I mean I finish a lot of different no I, I do finish some of the wood stuff too but um, but the the books and the wood stuff I mean I love that too but um, I just can't wait till it's finished I just want to see though it's taken me a little while on this book I just can't wait to see um, what the, what it looks like when it's done. All right, I obviously cannot get that in there. This one is giving me grief. There we go. And we are not done with this. We've only just begun. Now here is a real good place to put charms, too. Um, I do put charms on there. And that key is awful heavy, so ideally I'd probably like to try to find something. Oh, you know what? I just had an epiphany. Sorry, those are usually painful for me. I am going to take that key off. I'll show you what I'm going to do. I think it's cute. Let me see what y'all think. There you go. What do you think? I think that's cute. And that lightens up my, my little chain there. 
Yeah. Adorable. Okay. All right, so now we need to add some little charms. And this is where I just do little single beads. Um, and I also do some charm charms. Uh, let's see, I've got it. This, a, this is a green butterfly. Let me go ahead and Let's see, this is a white bead. I think we'll use a different color bead. I can't really see that one. We'll use a green bead. Alright. So we got that. And I'm just gonna cut a little bit of that off because it's just a little bit too long. straight as I can. There we go. There we go. Sorry if that made a loud noise. I always forget this table makes a lot of noise. Alright. And we will hang this on the big link. If I can get it on there. Is it on there? I can't tell. I don't think it's a little hard to do this backwards. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Let's try that one more time. There we go. I do a big one. Um, I usually do a big one in the middle if I do a big one. Well, oh, that's the leaf. I wonder if we can. No. Too much. Just looking to see what other we have set up. Okay. We may not use it, but that's okay. We'll have it at a later date if we need it. I think I will use it. And let's see, this, this book is vintage. I'm not sure if I have what charms I have that will... So I want to kind of go right in the middle. I think this link is kind of right in the middle. Hopefully it is. We'll see real quick. Let's see. What's this? 
another bird. I like this one. This one's a little brass one. I may end up removing that. I'm not sure I'm liking how heavy that is. I think I might just do that. I'm not going to commit to that one yet. I'll just put it right there. Alright, and when you do hook them on, you want to make sure that they are going the right way because sure enough, it'll twist and be going the wrong way. Alright, just, uh, oops, what did I do with my other plier? Okay, little birdie. And I have some more charms over here too. Let's see what I got. Let's see if I can get this out without throwing y'all on the floor. That's a piece of metal from the ocean. That's from a shipwreck of some sort. My husband collects some. <laughs> oh, I love that owl. It's cute. Let's see here. This is all ship stuff. Silver clock. And that's all cooking stuff there. So we'll just go ahead and put that back. So sorry if that's really loud. Bought this. this is one of my first charms that I ever bought, and I still have yet to use it. <laughs> it's a little crystal ball. All right, I can use this one. A lot of stuff in here too is some steampunk, steampunk stuff. Some gears. Love that owl little knife. <laughs> you never know when you might need a knife. Yep, okay. Alright, oh, you know what, we really love this. Let's put that on there. Probably wished I would have put that in the middle. That's okay. We can always move it if it bothers us. Alright. Yeah. Let me look at it. Yep. Good with that. I think it needs a punch of color somehow. Somehow. Oh, I love this. This is 
is like the exact opposite of color. You can see I love these. <laughs> I love them. Um, they're my favorites. Alright, I think we can work with what we got here. Alright, I think I'm going to do a little blue, a little green I mean. So that that um, that ribbon on that little uh, interactive page that we put inside the book, you know, it was the green fiber ribbon. It kind of dictated which uh, color was going to be primary in my mind. I don't know if you realize that or not, but that kind of made the decision for me. It's it's not really pink. Um, it's the green. It's kind of like very monotone, and then where there is color, there is green, which I kind of like that anyway. When I was younger, I used to paint in black and white. <laughs> I know you're trying to imagine what that would look like, um, but it was shades of black and white, so it wasn't just black and white, it was shades of black and white. And, um, there would be one bit of color somewhere in the picture. Um, sorry, I had to turn it around just to see what I've got. Um, but I grew out of that. Um, I grew out of the black and white. And I started loving color and just using color like crazy. doesn't. might get this done in one video. Though I'm already at 17 minutes on this video. Alright. I'm sorry, I'm going to turn it around just real quick so I can see what we got going on here. Tell you, I have a lot of bead sorting to do when we get done with this because everything is spread out everywhere. All right, ooh, it's so pretty. Love that. See, y'all, I just love the beads, I love the shiny. Check it out, see if we got any holes. Looks good, looks good. I think 
that may be it. I think that this is kind of on the blank side, but I'm not sure that I'm really worried about it too much. Um, although I will put a, a gold one there, and maybe that'll put my mind at ease. If I can get where these links on this small thing are just really hard to get off. Alright. That's our charm closure. Very cute. See, love it. See y'all. Y'all see why it's my favorite part, right? One of my favorite parts. It's just so pretty. Now this book is properly bejeweled. <laughs> <laughs> now, now I gotta finish the inside. <laughs> I have gone too far and I have no choice in the matter. So I love it. Alright, let me know what y'all think. And um, uh, the next video, I guess, um, if it's today, maybe I need to work on embellishing the inside. I may, I may give it a break. Uh, but I'm not sure yet, so we'll see. Since I'm still kind of excited about this book, I might just work on that tonight. So it's either that or we're going to work on that saw crafter carousel because I'm really excited to work on that. I have so many projects. Anyway, you guys have a great day. I will talk to you later. Bye.